Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Luffy and the Fortress of Doom Restore. The last time we did some things, um, including getting the dual blade, the legendary blade of legend. Well put there, Coolia. Um, and uh, now we are looking at making our boat become a sky boat so that we can uh, actually get to um, the Fortress of Doom, which is apparently floating in the sky now. But uh, for that, we need to go to the oil cave. Um, so let us... Let me review where the oil cave is. Um, okay, so this is the town of Epro. We should hopefully have the oil key. Make sure that we do, we do not. In my case, we probably need to talk to someone. Oh, well, if the man split up, I hope it can find someone better. Giant island in the sky! How can this be? The exact same thing happened 99 years ago. Oh, you're talking about the, the booze in Erebus. about power oil. I don't know if that means he's in the north part of town. Oh, we found a life source. In the north part of town or actually like due north of the town. Probably do more. Oh. Big hit of 90 there, not a fan of that. Ah, oh, great. This guy has champion, because of course he does. Why would he not? And then this guy, he's dead. <laughs> DK. Guy is dead. Hey, Gamba, how you doing? I am just here figuring out where it is I'm supposed to be going. And also making sure that my, my characters don't die. It's generally a good idea if they don't. It's kind of annoying if they do. Then they're, you know, dead. I'm just out here in the world, apparently. Are you Hedge? That's right. Who are you and what do you want? 
please tell us where the power oil is. It's in the old cave north of here. This is the road, but as you can see, has been blocked by a landslide. You searching for the power oil? Yes. The door to the old cave is locked. Take this key. I'm gonna go look for a new job. <laughs> okay. Just after the last earthquake, some eddies appeared in the East Lagoon. I don't suppose it matters. Hmm. Well, maybe there's another way in there. And the other way in there is probably going to involve our boat. But let's take a look around first. Hey, that's champion. Ah, sure enough. Nothing. Okay, well, uh, let's warp back. Can I have a warp item? I do not. Jared, take us back to Echo. And now we're gonna take the boat. Like these sea snakes as well as an, as an evil clam. Apparently that's an evil clam? Doesn't look very clam-like. Take the underwater path. A surprise attack on these hydras. Oh, we learned a trick. Excellent. A good trick to know. Also, we're probably like massively under level. I don't know why Jaren's level curve is so high. Like, she is only. Like, she started out like catching up real fast. And now she's way behind. She's level 33. Uh, against my level 39. So this might be a bit of a rough end game. We are getting a lot of surprise attacks, so at least there's that. Uh, these guys don't seem to be responding to like anything. Uh, except for like the the rough and tumble attacks by Kulia Nagaro. Oh, there we go. Luffy levels up. Oh, god dang it.
Now, a lot of these enemies do a lot of damage, but uh, they're not too hard to take down at the very least. Well, that was cool. You know me, I want that box. Also this box, which has a mystery pin. It's a miracle. It's a miracle! I know I've made that joke before, I don't care. The stream runs on 75% recycled materials. Good for the environment. Grand Blade. Um, yeah, that's what Agro currently has, and Kulia has his. Um, ultimate weapon, so that's unfortunate. Nice crit. Unfortunately, she pays for it by becoming paralyzed for the rest of the fight, probably. Not that the fight is going to be much longer. Magic guard and a power rug. I guess this contains a box. Two of them. Oh, X bomb, X potion. It's not nothing. Now let us get out of here. you down to single digit health, let's uh, get her back up very quick. Jaren's getting a bit low, probably should get her up too. We got that one, right? Oh, 
okay, so that takes us out to there, but uh, ah, nothing else here. Probably need to go... This is probably not the direction that we need to be going, but this is the, the direction I have chosen for now. Hey J-Pop, how you doing? Surprise attack on these king frogs. A lot of surprise attacks already. I mean, I appreciate it. Couple of ways to go. That might be the oil cave, but like it doesn't show you the name of the location unless it's a town, so I don't know. Let's go see what's over here. Turns out that is the oil cave. Well, if it is, we'll be back there momentarily. Oh, come on now. I'd appreciate if you don't all go after Lufia. There's a possibility that she may be a Sinistral, but we love her anyway. Should be able to get it down. There we go. Uh, champion on Agro. Okay, so it's just a big loop and we can get to the oil cave either way, but probably going the uh the up way instead of the left way was probably just shorter. to not die. Come on. Ah! Got one more attack in. Hey, I can definitely believe that this is the oil cave. It seems sufficiently oily. And this is something you see around uh, oil patches, right? Mad wolves and hydras. It's a completely standard thing to see. Bang, basically nothing to do, uh, basically does nothing rather to Lufia. Okay, come on now. I'm pretty sure I don't have the monster ring. Oh! 
you're in hang tight. Okay. He just barely makes it through the fight. We'll heal her immediately. And sure enough, lock door, oil key. What more proof do you, do you need that this is the oil cave? Dragon arrow, what's that? Sounds exciting. Arrow with draconian power damages one foe. Hmm. Must be a very strong arrow. Ifrit and Mad Knight. Hmm. Well, let's go with our usual strategy. Hasn't failed us so far. Pretty high encounter rate, but uh, honestly, that doesn't seem like entirely a bad thing because we do need to gain some levels here. The, the guy that I'm looking at uh, has a recommended level for this area of 42. And uh, my average level is uh, 19, 26. Divided by four. Thirty six and a half. Dragon Fang. That sounds pretty cool. Um, what type of item? Equipment? Oh, it's an arrow. Tooth of a dragon damages all enemies, I see. So it's a dragon arrow, but more of it. of arrows. Miracle. Nothing in those boxes. Uh, let us check this zone here. Oh, hi magic. The dragon ring. We become the dragon master. That's not the equipment page. Effective against dragon-like monsters. Not effective toward adding stats. Wow, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll hold on to it and maybe it'll be useful. Potion. 
the rock golems. They were rock golems! Oh, jeez. That's not good. Um, does anyone have. Yes, I'm stuck. Attacking the the stone dude with stone arm to make him even more stone. Oh, 158 on Lufia. Uh, you know what? You can use an explosion on yourself. And learns Vulcan. Now she may live long and pro. I mean, I guess she was gonna live long anyway. She's half elf. Maybe not as long as regular elves, but you know. Of course you're gonna do champion. Why wouldn't you? And just everyone here able to restore HP. Pretty much Aguro's the odd one out here. Not able to cast anything. Get smashed. Hey, Agro, let me smash. Want some frog? Dragon Fang. A dragon egg. Okay. Well, I guess there are more than eight of them. Interesting. Another Dragon Fang. I gotta go for the one that can cast champion first, like it just did. Oh, that's... that's real spicy. I didn't know you could do that. I don't like that. Yeah, go away. Pull your levels up.
Oof. Um, you're, we're probably not going to get to your turn anyway, but just in case. That staircase. Oh, that guy looks friendly. And there's at least one other box around here that I probably want to uh, find before we go deal with them. Current. learn Sunder. Uh, there's the box that I want. How do I get there? But yeah, that, that dragon over there is why we want the dragon ring. I don't know how much of an effect that has, but uh, probably notable enough for it to be worth it, I, I would hope anyway. Well, still nobody died. Which is a miracle. these knights so mad about. We're here saving the world and they gotta be angry. Sounds like some people I know. Okay, but now we gotta deal with that guy. Uh, I'm going to give you... Mm. Actually, that's 80 attack points. I don't know if it's that much more. The, the guide here um, 
Ah. Open the nearby chest you see, which contains a dragon ring. Sell. <laughs> might not be that good. Then again, it might be an opportunity. It's just hard to tell because, like, that's a big stat drop. But you know what? I think I'm gonna try it anyway. Five high magic, so let's use those. Okay. We're about as prepared as we're going to be for this fight. Let's give this power source to Agro. Okay. Largely a defensive turn to start with here. to Agro. Uh, you're gonna start doing boost probably every turn. are over here because I didn't sort my inventory like I should have. Oily air. Okay, that reduces agility. Uh, fortunately, Lufia can fix that problem. Wait, no, that was... was that a Coolio spell and I forgot? Oh my goodness. Okay, Courage in increases defense, Coolio is the one with the... okay. I did a boo-boo and that's okay. But uh, considering that everyone's pretty good on health right now... Sunder! Sounds like fun. Um, right, you're gonna cast 
mirror on Luthia, and we're going to do that every other turn. So it's going to work out, because uh, that means Luthia's uh, agility stays high. And also, that will affect the dragon's uh, agility. Fake is what I was thinking of. I guess I, I should have. If I was gonna give the dragon ring to anyone, I should have given it to Agro, because Agro is the only one who, ca who I can really justify just attacking every turn. sure why I just had Lufia just do a regular attack there, but you know, I do silly things sometimes, you know me. Fire not doing a whole lot of uh, damage to the, to the oil dragon, but uh, doesn't really need to, is just preventing Lufia from receiving that damage herself. Keep that mirror up. Thunder. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have had her do, do thunder. Holy crap, that's a substantially rougher fire error. Uh, do I have? I think Luffy is the only one with boost, right? Or I could be mistaken, but I think that's the case. Interesting. I'm getting Coolio again. Okay, well. Let's go and do fake. You're gonna do boost. And just missed that magic mirror opportunity. You know what, just keep the mirror going between the two of you. Cause that seems to that seems to be a pretty good plan. Got the, the main uh, the main battle healer and the main rezzer of the only magical rezzer.
Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Oh no. Okay, so so the the dragon has some tricks uh, up his sleeve too, I guess. Unfortunately, you can't just mirror between two people and just keep reflecting the same spell until someone's mirror breaks. Be kind of neat to have like a dead man's gambit type of thing going on, but uh hey, how it works. Also, I forget whose mirror I need to put up. For being well below the level that I was supposed to be, that wasn't too bad. Uh, our girl levels up. And we got some power oil. Alright, take us away. Back to Ebra. Actually, did we need to go back there for a while? Can we just go back to the... Uh, let's... We're here, so let's uh, at least heal. Let's see what the uh, the oil shop has to say. Edge went home. <laughs> okay. Good time. Um, I guess then we gotta go to Frederia. One of the many uh, Shia Labs locations. No, we would not like to stay in a friggin' holding cell, thank you. I think I already uh, examined my choices here. And that's the armor shop. Is. 
Try lap four. That's obviously where we need to go. Of course, I'm going to just go around in circles because that's the thing that I do. Good for you, buddy. You got there. Oh, that's probably not a good idea. And it's probably not a good idea for me to be fighting the Sinistrals, but uh, I guess that's what we're doing. Gary is the professor's wife. This entire town is the professor's wife? Well, we have the power oil. I see you have the power oil. Well then, let's start the refit. Please, bring Falcon around. Okay. Here we go. The refit is finished. Press the A button or make her fly. Thanks for everything, Professor. I promise to do everything in my power to defeat the Sinistrals. Take Falcon. Please bring it and yourselves back in one piece, won't you? The four of us. That's right. We'll be back when this is over. Yes, we'll all return together, right, Coolio? Trust us, Professor. We'll bring it back. Remember that and you'll be fine. I'm finished here. The rest is up to you. I understand. Professor, Doom Island is moving again. It's over the roof of Glasdor Tower. What? Glasdor Tower? I don't like the sound of that. There's bad turbulence around, around Glasdor Tower. Falcon can't get close enough for a landing. There's a connecting cave south of the tower. It's, sur it's surrounded by mountains, but Falcon, take Falcon can take you there. Very well. Let's head for the cave. I like how the very moment that we get our boat flying is the moment that the boat can no longer fly to the place that we needed to go. But it does fly though. Holy zoom. Ah, I see. This is the place that we need to go, but we can't land here, you see. Hey, Zero, how you doing? Holy crap, this goes fast. Um, what is this town? Ah, this is Erebus. Oh. Is this an inn? What kind of place is this? Well, I must admit, it's convenient. It's sort of overstated, though. I rather like it. What do you think? We're near the entrance. It's 150 gold pieces a night. You wish to stay over? No thanks. Well, however, steal your spell source. And that will go to Coolio, was the least amount of MP. That is a shop. We can finally buy X Potion and X Magic. Which is good. Call me when you've decided. Why? Wait, what? Like, only Coolio can wear the sword, but like, you can only possibly get this after getting the dual blade, so what's the point? Oh, that's a good one, though. Oh, the, the Zircon Rod is actually an upgrade for Jared, but uh, overall, the uh, the bow, the, the mic bow, is gonna be is gonna do more damage generally. I'll show you how awesome the dual blade is.
Oh right, um, let's go ahead and give you the wave line again. Look at the puny baby sword for baby men. Dual wield. Oh, is that why it's called the dual blade? Uh, yes. I want some whiskey. It's not so cool, that's where the sinistrals live. How did you get this? Awfully pointed question. Let's get a jar of balls out of in the cave. able to get everyone fully equipped is my question. I think we already have a pair of mock shoes and I was like, eh. And I don't think we're gonna be able to get everything here. as possible. Then equip the new stuff. And sell the old stuff. That's all for 1900. Eh. Oh, right. Go back into the buy screen. We are going to be able to get fully equipped. to get some booze. Apparently there there were some stories of Arabus having some good booze. But maybe there is someone here that sells it. I don't know if there is. We might need to make a trip. Cause there ain't no whiskey there. this cave. Aha! Don't you want to play? Oh, but they don't have whiskey. I see. Let's finish what you start. Oh, there's the whistle. Oh, that's expensive. I'm gonna buy one, though. I don't know why they, they like, have a bar and then they, like, have a sub-bar.
And also like a storage room in front of the bar. Usually you would put that behind the bar. There you go. That's what I call great whiskey! Mmm, good stuff, delicious! The key should be in the cave that's north of Lazdar Tower. I feel like that wasn't worth a hundred. Uh, I was gonna say a hundred dollars, then I was gonna say a thousand dollars. That was about to come out as a hundred thousand dollars, and it's like, definitely not worth that. Let's go ahead and uh, save. I guess this is the point where, like, we could uh, go around the world and, like, take care of any unfinished business. But I feel like we finished a lot of the business. There's not really a whole lot left to do, but concentrate on uh, getting through this. The businessman with standards. I don't know what standards you're talking about. Basically, we're, we're in the same class of enemy that we were previously, so it's not a big deal. We, we've managed to so far go through today without a single death. Which isn't, you know, not... Uh, not necessarily an, an indication that we're going to continue to not die, but you know, we're doing good so far. jinxed it. Hundred on the nose. Street pin. Ah, uh, three groups of one. Hate it. You're gonna go after that.
need to cook Taco Tuesday. Well, we'll, we'll be here all night. As in all, really, in all likelihood, we're likely to finish this. Unless we run into, like, a stone wall of just can't get anything done because of these very low levels for where we are. A free Zircon sword. Excellent replacement to the Zircon sword we already have. Actually, no, we don't have a Zircon sword. Light ring. This is attack, defense, and agility. It's probably some pretty good increases, but uh, I don't see it being overall better than what we have. Uh, these hydras like to bang, apparently. Jeremy is up. And she definitely needs to level up. Is safe, but for how long? Not long enough to finish his fight at the very least. Coolio levels up and learns Valor. Uh, what does Valor do? Restores fight power. Oh, is this a f uh? Is this a miracle as a spell, basically? If so, that's kind of cool. Power source is, of course, will go to Agora. this way, I guess. It's a big final heal revive spell. Excellent. Now, of course, it's Coolio who gets it. The, the one character who has friggin' champion. 
It's weird that they would have Coolio be like the the like like hero, I should say, be the big healer. It's like Lufia can be the utility healer because you know, she has the big magic theory. But then Coolio gets both champion and valor. Another close call, but I uh, managed to pull that one out. Pull it down and then forget that I pulled down the switch. Another ripple there. I'm gonna guess that that switch will affect the uh, warp pad. And like one configuration, because I think there was a warp pad inside that room. So like one configuration will probably make it go inside the room and the other one is going to make it go over to the left of here. Yeah, there's, there's a warp pad there, so... There's nothing else here. That boost. There we go. Luffy levels up. I thought I told you to cast a spell. Well, whatever. Too late now. Yikes. Oh boy. Well, there's the first death of the night. No! Luffy survives that. Look at that, Might Shield. That's one of the things that we could have wished for. Oh, and it is a pretty big upgrade too. I'm gonna guess that that was probably like a super rare rock that I just kind of casually got. Potion. Not nearly as rare, but you know, still good. This 
spells horse. Also, yeah, I, I absolutely needed to have that lever in the other position to get the other chest. But just uh, try to get that out of the way. It's going to be the sweet water. Oh yeah. Also, the spell source will go to Jerry. the first death of the night, and it's Agura. Well, let's, uh, let's test out this spell. I realize it's super expensive, but, uh, yeah, sure, full, full heal. I don't know if it would work to like full heal a living character, but like we have champion, which is substantially less expensive. Okay. Magic, Lufia, boost. Do it again. Five fifty nine. Our girl is mad. One more fight is going to get him a level up. to pull that lever again for the last time. It's up. It's still up. I want to see what happened if I tried to, to move it up again. I was like, yep, you weren't paying attention, that's cool. And we're just gonna make you move the switch to where it already is. That's perfectly fine with us. If I had known that it was just going to be the one room after this, I would have just grabbed this stuff. Death Guard. Defends against lethal attacks. I thought that cave was just gonna keep going for a little bit more, but I guess not. Hmm, I thought I had a wolf. And I found one at some point. That's fine. I was going to warp to uh, Arbus. to stay in this oddly convenient uh, inn here. Let's see if there's anything uh, 
worth seeing. As it turns out, Well, we don't even technically need to take the the sky boat here to this cave. Imagine we probably oh we can land here. Okay. Actually, it just hit me that we're we're going to the final area. We should probably save before we do that. Uh, give me a second. right next to this cave entrance and uh, it's possibly the final stretch. Well, this doesn't look ominous at all. The black ring. Ah, oh, it's gotta be cursed, right? Increases all stats. That is definitely super cursed. Put a put a safe state here. And we're gonna pretend what if I live in the world where I actually believe that hey, this is gonna be worth it. Oh it's not cursed. That's fascinating. Bunch of magic resistance actually. That'd be good for Jaren. Actually, it might be a good idea for Lufia to have this. I kinda like the bomb ring, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to Jaren. All of a sudden, we we get into we get it, we get into combat, and that's when the ring gets cursed. It's a good place to um, to grind up some levels if we need to. Hopefully we won't need to, but uh, considering that we should be at level 43 at this point, although we've been riding about two levels under where, we, where we're supposed to be like this entire time. And Mostly surviving. Well, that uh, that boost didn't go out fast enough. Nagra is just gonna keep dying continuously.
I go lying down on the job again. regular revive spell this time. No deluxe revive for you. This is your second death today. Wait, what am I doing? I've just done that. Uh, is there anything else in this, this box? And uh, I think that's everything. Ooh, these Gaia guards look kind of nasty. Ooh, yes. Oh, jeez. Ah, that ain't good. About to lift Jaren. About to yeet Jaren. Show eyes. Uh, this is gonna be one of those kinds of dungeons, isn't it? Sonic heals. Sonic heals. Sonic heals. Sonic heals. The Via has a pair already. Now's the time for some spaghetti. to here, I guess. Oh, 427. Look at that. Drugs. X bomb. Wait, did both of those doors just go to the same place? It's the illusion of choice.
Unless, of course, one of these is just gonna drop into a pit. Oh, they, they absolutely would do the same trick multiple times. Ow! Jaren, please. Getting the wrong team here. Explosion followed by an immediate fight. Ban Jaren for friendly fire. Ooh, double crit. Now I think I think Jaren's ban is overturned. But she just crit twice in a row on the same attack. And it wasn't on uh, on our party. that go to the same place for no real reason. I do remember that, uh, that one door in that little side area that uh, I passed by. I was thinking, like, is that the way forward, or is it, like, I don't know what's there. And rather than, you know, just peek in the door and, uh, come back out if it looks like progress, I only have decided to just keep looking around here. Oh, jeez, there's an entire ass dragon. Four damage on Agro. Julio mm -hmm. is up. And Jerry, who learns champion. Oh, we got two people with champion now. Oh geez, I didn't see the uh, the death water there. That's unfortunate. I don't know if it was electric slime. I don't think it was. Also, I like how the how the dragon's attack is dragon. And th this guy is just dragging me into his mess. So the place is up to code. 
uh, have the, the multiple points of egress. Nope. Thought maybe I could uh, make it around with uh, floats still intact, but apparently not. And nothing else here right now. Miracle. Of course, at this point, I've completely forgotten which places that I've actually been to. Sarah's damage on enemy group, I see. Difference in uh, damage. Oh, there goes Jaren, though. Pierce didn't work, but a regular attack sure did. Also, your magic mirror will have no effect when I just decide to slash your face. Luffy levels up and learns Storm. Jaren is down, which means I have to use a revive to get it up. from my computer here. What's going on? Uh, should be fine. No, that, that was me. Oh right, I want to use a uh, float. Get this power source. Nothing else here. And use the power source. Getting cold in here, or is it just this guy? All right, now let's see if I can find that little side door again. I think this was it. It was just for a high magic. A Valor in Raleigh. This building, wait. Valor is heal all HP to all? I don't think so. Let's, uh, I'll double check, but I, I, I don't think that's the case. Because, um, let's see, Valor. Restores fight power affects one member, and then I used it on Argro the first time he died, and it did heal him to full, so it is a, um, a miracle as a spell.
The na remember, the names might have been changed with this patch that I'm using. It's probably Valor in the uh, Japanese version. And then they changed it to Revive in the North American version. And then they changed it back to Valor with this patch because they were trying to get things named like their name in the uh, the Japanese version. Is just simplified like Dragon Warrior hurt, hurt more, heal, heal more. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's called, um, I don't think it's called hurt and hurt more anymore. Uh, trying to find the dragon eggs. Uh, well, first of all, Philly Cheesesteak, uh, welcome to this video of Vibe. I have already done a round of dragon eggs and, um, at this point, I'm just trying to get to the end. If we if we can reach the end for like during this stream, that'd be great. As darky. All right, and that get that gets us to uh, the tower over here. everyone's uh, magic do. Probably a good idea to top up. Uh, I have beaten the game before, but uh, it has been a very long time. That back in my my teen days probably. And Dangway, we are here in front of Glasdar Tower, the one thing that stands between us and Doom Island up above. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take that on after the break. So y'all can take a moment, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall reconvene and uh, hopefully get up in there and get to Doom Island and take care of those Sinistrals once and for all. So, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 